That's Eric over here. And we're just gonna do a little boxing video today uh, for the kickboxing, boxing fanatics out there. And I want to talk about slip drills. Cool. Because we've been talking a lot about cutting angles yep. and using footwork and that kind of thing. And head movement is just kind of the, one of those known attributes that you really want to develop. Always keep your head moving so that it's not susceptible to being hit, whether you're landing shots or evading. And the thing with slipping is it's gotta be small movement. Like we see a lot of people overdo the bottom yeah. weave and then you're way out of position. It's not possible to get back for a counter. So you want to make the person miss small. The ideal slip, like if Coach Eric is going straight right, is actually that it just barely grazes my hand because now I'm in position for any kind of counter that I want. So you get this general shape. You can bob forward with the shoulder like this. And my chin is over my leg on this point. If I go to the inside, it's gonna be like, if there was another foot right here, it's sort of like a triangle this way. Uh, and there's a difference we should break down between a slip and a wipe. Yeah. A wipe is, is horizontal, and that is good for evasion. It's kind of like a side bend. You can even practice by putting your fingertips here and just doing a side bend this way. There's no forward motion. The disadvantage, even for a tall guy, is like, say you wipe. You just go completely sideways. Sorry, I'm not. And it, and then I'm just just trying to move now forward. I'm trying to touch me with your right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though he's taller, it's still too far away. But if he slips forward on that 45 degree angle, now that I'm in direct line with his right shoulder, and that thing is going to connect. And the same is true when you're doing like knife fighting. You yeah. want that angle to be able to insert whatever it is that you're using, whether it's your fists, the knee. I'm also not really like, you're not going through that range. Of you're, you're yeah, you have no follow through. Like, yeah. Him to still hit you. So you'll see people doing that as an evasion, which is good. Like yeah. you can watch like Mayweather going into the Matrix or whatever. Yeah. As an evasion, it's really good. But when we understand the slip, we want that to be able to bring about a counterattack. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different exercises we can do. So one, I just call the window. So it's like you're going to take your guard and put your thumbs at the bottom of your chin, right where like the white of my beard is on the bottom. And all you're gonna do is make those 45 degrees. The goal is to keep your hands in the center line and move your head over the window. So I'm leaning forward, back to center, to the right. So that's all you're gonna do. You can even do this holding a medicine ball and we're gonna do a drill to illustrate that. And then as you get it down, where you don't really need the window anymore, you can kind of change to a three-point cover. One, two, one, two. So I'm not leaning back on this right side because again, I'm gonna be evading that way. I'm going forward, center, forward, forward, center, forward. If you need to put the window back up, sometimes that helps people. Another thing you can do is use a piece of equipment called a slip line. And a slip line is a fancy word for rope. So <laughs> you can just, uh, you can use any household product, but chances are if you've been in the boxing gym, you have like a hand wrap. So just take the end of the hand wrap and tie it to something we got one here. Yep. So if Coach Eric holds it, if you're at home, just tie it at both ends. And what you want is to have this shoulder level. And I've got it on this weird object here, so the end isn't quite shoulder level. But I don't want it at the top of my head because just like when the punch grazed my face, that's where it should fit is the slot of the shoulder. So I'm just going to take a step with my right foot, go under, and catch up with my left foot. Left foot, right, left foot, right, left foot, right foot. And even if I just had a couple feet here, just forward and back, that's good. Then you can start to throw punches and mix in whatever you're gonna do. But the idea is to keep the movement small. And I don't think you guys can see my feet, but if you, if you can, when I'm here, when I step to my left, my left foot goes first, I bob under and my right foot catches up. So when I go to the right, I'll back up so you can see it. My right foot goes first, I bob under, and my left foot catches up that way. And I mentioned this because in class, we always see a lot of people, they try to take some big awkward step, and they'll bring their other foot adjacent or something like that. You've got to keep your stance mm -hmm. to make it effective. The footwork follows the head. And it's no different than like uh, the shuffle step, yep. right? When you shuffle step, you go to your left, what foot's going to move first? The foot closest to that direction, the left foot. When I go to the right, right foot. So when you slip, that's what's going to happen when you do the bob under the slip line. All right, uh, let's grab the camera, my friend. Cool. We'll go back to the wall here. With the All right, guys, so here we are. We're just going to use this pillar of the wall, and I got a medicine ball here. And this is like the window idea, but sometimes when you do the window in the beginning, 
It's confusing the length you should move, the direction, the angle. And what this drill does is it forces your body into the correct shape in a static position. Uh, maybe over here. Over here, sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this chest level just like the window, see I'm peeking over it, but I'm gonna attach it to the wall. And now because my arms are stuck here by holding up the weight, now I can only move a certain amount of range. And it just so happens, this is the limit of my range with my chin over my leg. So I can't go any farther forward, it's very uncomfortable. And this will force me into those positions. Okay, and the other thing you're doing is I'm holding up eight to 10 pounds on the medicine ball. So I'm getting a good upper body workout with it too. So if we do some circuit training, this might be one of the stations, right? So I'm just forward, center, and back. So in the beginning, don't try to shortcut the middle. Come back to a good stance, check if your chin is down, go to the right. And then eventually, if you wanna go like side to side, you can, but make sure you're not fading away or changing those angles. And I think those are three pretty good tools to get you on track to start developing your slip. And then what do you gotta do? You gotta go back to time and sparring. You gotta let somebody try to hit you and see if you can get it right in the pocket there. And uh, there's some really good mid drills that we can bring out too, where you know you're not so much of a crash course. You kind of do it step by step, or the person's not trying to take your head off, but you're just developing the ability to dodge and counter that way. Cool. Anything you want to add, Coach? No, that's looking great, man. It's it's really interesting. Like you're always thinking about how it how everything's the same. The 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 hips. The hips yeah. lead, the head follows on yeah, everything. Man. It's like everything else. Every all good yep. martial arts follow my good principles. Yep. All right, Warriors, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you out there. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to the channel. The community is really growing, and I'd love to see you guys out there. And any questions you have, we did a video yep. earlier in the week on Kali, and that just came about 100% because one of the guys in the comments had a phenomenal question, and we were able to come in and answer, which is just really fun for us to not have to do 100% of the creativity because you guys are involved and yep. we really appreciate you. So we'll catch you soon. Warriors. All right, Warriors out.